Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey, one. Good vibrations at your service to talk just a little bit about a very popular type of antenna known as the attic antenna. And I have shown the quintessential uh, residential home with an attic that has a peak that runs for the full length of the house and gables or ends with probably with little vents on them or little vents on the top whatever you may have up there my uh, attic is actually uh, converted into a bedroom so it's a uh, peak is about eight feet from the floor to the peak of the roof well maybe seven feet other attics are of the type that you have to crawl up into and get yourself all full of fiberglass insulation uh, that lies on the floor that was the old house that we had at Rochester, Minnesota, where I was growing up. But in any case, let's suppose that this is your shack and you want to put an antenna along the peak of the attic. Well, how long is this uh, attic? How long is this house? Well, you're limited by that. A typical house might measure 40 feet from end to end. Let's just suppose it's 40 feet. Again, here's your shack. Now what you're going to do is you're going to run this dipole antenna, and that's probably the type of antenna you should use, a dipole, right along the peak of the roof inside. You don't want anybody to know that antennas uh, exist in your house it might even be against the rules to have them uh, let's so you've got a 40 foot long dipole now that's not resonant on any amateur band that I know of so chances are that you're going to want to either use a remote antenna tuner which is what I suggest right here at the feed point and then run coaxial cable down well let's try that one again somehow or another to your shack and your radio and your window that looks like uh, looks out on a little garden and and you got two cats in the yard and all that sort of really cool stuff okay so here is coaxial cable this is your coaxial feed line. Let's make that green too. I've made the whole shack green, so I guess the cable and the tuner can be green. The antenna can also be green. Green insulated wire. How about that? It's important that you feed this thing in the center and if you want to use that automatic antenna tuner that is my recommendation otherwise you're going to need to use open wire line uh, between your antenna and your radio and it's a little trickier to run that stuff down like that although it can be done and it can be done successfully but in any case use every available millimeter of space that you have along the peak of that attic now there are of course other types of houses there's one precaution that uh, you really need to be absolutely sure about it probably shouldn't even need to be mentioned but your roof cannot be made cannot have metal roofing on it as a lot of houses here in uh, Dakota Territory do I'm not sure why uh, the snow slides off just when you're underneath it and crushes you 
or uh, it all slides off in one huge mass um, but it slides off and maybe that's the reason why they they do that I'm not really positively certain why mine uh, is a, about a 40 foot long house and it uh, it does not have any of that other stuff uh, uh, like middle roofing and uh, other such appurtenances a, a lot of wires might exist or, uh, up here mine has none whatsoever in fact the insulation is inadequate up here uh, and in the winter it's okay if it's covered with snow but in but if it's not it can get mighty cold up there and in the summer of course the sun beats down on this roof and I've seen it 110 degrees up here so you probably wouldn't want to put your shack up here if you can though maybe you maybe that would make things a little simpler from a feed standpoint but uh, as far as loading coils and trying to use antennas on multiple bands with those sorts of schemes I do not recommend that this is this is the way that I would do it either an automatic antenna tuner right here and coaxial cable here or else no automatic antenna tuner and some sort of open wire line here and a tunable transmatch down there. That's the best I can offer you. That is the way that W1GV would do it if I decided I wanted to do it like that. Uh, antennas like this still can be subject to the electromagnetic pulse induced by a sudden nearby lightning strike. Keep that in mind. If RF can get out, then the electromagnetic pulse can get back in again just as easily. And that can destroy your radio just as surely as it would if that antenna were above the peak of the roof. So keep that in mind. Always disconnect your antenna, preferably at the tuner point up here when you're not using your radio, particularly if you live in a thunder shower prone zone such as we do here in the black holes. Stan Jibalisco signing off for now, saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which translates in my native language to da 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 da